Hi, Cheryl Locke here for HotBlogTips.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make gradient text that you can use for a banner, coupons, or any other things you need and want to brighten it up a little bit. First, what we will do is after we open Paint.net, I'm going to go to File and New. For this tutorial, I'm going to make a banner at 1000 by 200. Make sure that Maintain Aspect Ratio is turned off. Click OK. Now I have a 1000 by 200 banner. I'm going to need two colors to make this banner. I have chosen a gold and a light yellow. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how I got those particular colors. Now we are going to go over and click on our T in our toolbox for text. I'm using Compact. This works best with a true font and a blunt font. I'm also going size 84 for my text. I make sure my text is going to be centered so it types from the center out. Now I'm going to take my cursor and I'm going to put it on my canvas. I can see that I'm at the 500 mark and at the 100 mark on my rulers on the top and side. Now I'm going to type out my text. Normally I put the light colored text first, but for this video so that you can see, I'm going with the dark color. Now once we have our text and you want it centered, you can move it by changing it right here if you choose to center it better, what have you. Now I'm going to go up to effects. I'll go down to Stylize and go over to Outline. This will bring up a little box and you can decide what width you want your outline. I choose to use a thinner outline and I'm going to use a 2 for this particular product. Now that I have my text outlined, I'm going to go over and click on the magic wand. You're going to need to hold the Control button on your keyboard down continuously while you take your magic wand and click inside each letter. You'll want the X inside the letter. If you use a letter like I where you're going to have a dot, make sure you also cover it. Now as you can see, we have highlighted the inside of each of our letters. Now I'm going to go over to the toolbox and click Gradients. For this product, I'm going to use the Linear Reflected Gradients. I'm going to go to the center because your gradient is going to go from top to bottom on this. So I'm going to go to the center of the letter and I'm going to hold down my cursor and I'm going to start making and pulling out my gradient. You can tilt it as you can see. So if you want to keep your your gradient lined up, you're going to need to watch your top toolbar to make sure you're not moving around a lot. Now once you get your gradient as you'd like, for this particular product, since I did start with my dark colors, I'm going to go over and switch it. Now I have my darker gold as the top and bottom, and my gradient is my lighter yellow. Now I will go up to the top and you'll see a little blue box with a red X and that's deselect. Click my deselect. Now I'm going to go back over to my magic wand and I'm going to hold my control key down again and I'm going to click outside or the white spots of each area. Some of these will be inside a letter and you'll have to be careful that you get just those. Once I have highlighted all of the white spots on my keyboard, I'm going to click Delete. Now I've taken all the white out of this banner. Now to save, I go up to File, Save As, and I'm going to name it HBT Logo 1. And you want to save this as a PNG. I've now saved my logo. Now to make my banner with my logo over it, 
I'll go up to File, and I'm going to open. I have a pre-sized picture already. I'll pull up my gradient background that I've already made. This is a regular picture where I cropped and sized it to 1,000 wide by 200 tall. Once I have that image, I'll go up to Layers, and I'll import from a file. And I'll find my logo that I just made, and I'll put it on. If you need to move this around, you can do so. Once you have your new gradient text logo where you'd like it on your image, you'll simply go up to File, click Save As, and rename it. And then you'll save it as a PNG file. And you have a new banner since you have already saved your gradient text, it'll be easy to go in, pick a different background when you want to, and change this up. And as far as how I got my colors, my gold colors, I'll show you a little thing we do. I went to Google and typed in gold, then went to Google Images. As you can see, there's all different kinds of gold pictures here. I use Firefox, and I use the color picker. I go up get my color picker, find a gold that I want, and I click it. Now it's been copied. For me to get that hex number, I simply open my little color picker, I go down to the next to the bottom, and here's the hex number. I can copy it, go over, open up my colors, and I can paste it right in this area and that will give me that exact color. Then to get my lighter color I went up, chose my little dropper again, went down to a light area, clicked, copied the code, went back and pasted it in to my area for my light color. And there you have it. You now have a new banner with gradient text Remember, you can experiment with all different types of text and colors and change your background to suit your site. We hope this has given you a little bit of an idea of what you can do to be more creative with your banners. Thanks for watching, and be sure to follow Hot Blog Tips on Google Plus and here on YouTube.